Hey everyone, it's me again, Gabby. I know I just recently just uploaded a video today and um, I wanted to put this one out there as well and upload this video for you guys and, and inform you guys that we are going to be, or we are getting hit with a storm. A geomagnetic storm is here, you guys. So let me ask you, have you guys been feeling, I don't know, a little off or strange in the last 24 hours without you know really knowing why so last night around I don't know like 5 30 ish 6 o'clock p.m. I felt this huge wave of energy coming into my consciousness this wave wrapped itself its its energy around my entire body engulfing me with its light I was feeling dizzy. Oh, well, I felt dizzy for a moment. It didn't last very long. And a little off balance. Um, the off balance feeling you get is kind of like um, vertigo. The feeling of uh, vertigo. If you've ever had experienced vertigo before, that's what I was experiencing last night. And um, like off balance, dizzy. What else was I experiencing? And, um, oh, and it all started, actually, it didn't start 5.30 last night. It actually really started in the morning, but I didn't know that it was energy coming in because it was so subtle. It started with uh, a stabbing pain in my head, like a sharp stab right here in the crown chakra. And I just thought, okay, I'm getting a migraine. And um, as the day progressed into the evening, when the energy wave hit me, I knew right then and there we were getting hit with a storm. A storm was coming. I didn't know if it was already here or if it was coming or if it was coming in a few days. I just knew that a storm was coming. So that sharp stabbing pain that I was feeling in my head was actually the energy opening me up. It was getting me ready. So I knew I had to get my journal out and start documenting it. I knew that a solar storm was on its way. <laughs> Since I've been feeling these waves for so long, I can easily recoup when, when they take place or when they hit me. So when I'm feeling them, I'm not dizzy and down all day. I, I'm able to get back up and recuperate again because, you know, I've, I've experienced these waves before. Now, if a stronger storm was to hit like a, a higher class geomagnetic storm something that was above a two would probably put me out all day long as it would probably put you out all day long so this is vital going forward that they serve their purpose and that we can move on from them okay we don't want to be down all day we don't want to we don't want them to take us out this is the same for all symptoms of ascension and anything psychic that takes place. We must acknowledge and respect the upgrades, embrace these upgrades as they come in. So when these waves come in, they take over the whole body and consciousness. There is nothing a person can do but to pay full attention to them while they last. You know, you just got to kind of take it easy. Take care of yourself. So these storms that hit us, they vary in length. They vary in time. Some of them can last five minutes. Some can last all day. Some can last all week. It just depends on um, how you embody the light. Now, when I got hit by the dizziness last night, it didn't last that long. A few moments and I was done. Um, the sharp pain, a few seconds, it was done. Now, the other symptoms of being like you're lagging and tired and just not, you know, I, I don't have that pep in my step. Now, that will probably last me all day. But, you know, it varies person to person. It What affects me may affect you differently. But as I was saying, you know, um, these waves, as they come in, they vary in length and intensity depending on the person, you know, and depending on what the light codes are for that wave. This wave in particular is upgrading our systems to prepare for the next waves to arrive. There will be more and more waves coming in our way in the next few weeks and in the next few months. We are not done. These are going to go all the way into July and into October. So more and more people will feel these waves as they become more sensitive to energy. And for those that already feel the waves, 
be confident that they hold the codes that we need to ascend. Feel the waves, integrate them, and then move on. Energy is what the entire universe and every being is made of. We are all electrical energy manifesting as matter. The core of who we are is the electrical divine essence, which flows inside each, one, each and every one of us. As more awaken, they will awaken to who and what they really, really are. Today and tomorrow, we will be experiencing geomagnetic storms, uh, class G1. That will be causing many ascension symptoms in us. And one of those symptoms will be extreme tiredness. So you might be feeling a little tired today and tomorrow. Along with this is intense thirst and hunger. So if you're thirsty, drink. If you're hungry, eat. Intense body heat and uh, sleep issues, as well as lucid dreams as we change dimensions. So just prepare yourself and... Um, I don't know about you, but I love to lucid dream. So just enjoy those lucid dreams. As with all space weather, we must not resist, but instead embrace these changes as they come in. We welcome them because it is through these symptoms that our DNA can be upgraded. Yay! That's a good thing. And through these upgrades, our lives are being changed through expanded consciousness and the merging with the divine creator. So let's get nerdy and scientific. <laughs> so there has been a solar wind alert in effect. The NOAA forecasters estimated a 60% chance of minor G1 class geomagnetic storms on June 1st, today, increasing to 65% on June 2nd. When a stream of high-speed solar wind is expected to reach Earth. Ooh. So this geomagnetic storm that is in, pro in, its, you know, in process as we speak right now is a minor storm. It's a G1 class, so it's minor. It still will affect you know, us, our bodies, the way we feel, and it will also affect a few electronics and stuff like that here on Earth. If you're a sky watcher, you should be on the alert for auroras. They're so beautiful. I wish I lived in a part of the world that I'm able to view them, but unfortunately here in New York, we don't get that luxury to see auroras. I would have to go somewhere like Canada. Canada is the closest place that I think an aurora would pop up. I think. I'm not for sure. I think. Um, I know right now people in the southern hemisphere where the autumn is, you know, it's the darkest right now, will be able to see these auroras even better. During a geomagnetic storm, you can expect to possibly feel headaches or migraines, which are not ever fun to feel. You may have or be experiencing some breathing issues. Um, some sleeping issues such as insomnia, interrupted sleep, not getting a full night's rest. Um, so I would suggest maybe going to bed a little bit earlier tonight. You might feel tingling in your crown chakra, in your head. Um, you might be irritable. You might be like a cranky ass. <laughs> you might be losing items or they somehow mysteriously return. Like one minute they're there and then the next minute they're gone and then all of a sudden they're there again. And you're like thinking to yourself like, how is that possible? That is, you, you know what you're experiencing? You're experiencing glitches in the matrix. That's what you're experiencing. Um, you may also be experiencing time warps, glitchiness, like losing your keys and all of a sudden, you know, your keys are there again. They weren't and then, you know, they were, they weren't, they were. Those are glitches. Um, maybe you're losing periods of time or have, you know, odd experiences such as, you know, feeling like only a few minutes have passed and yet you look at the clock and it's actually been an hour or three hours or, you know, the other way around. Maybe time is moving like super duper slow for you. Maybe you're experiencing being aware of other dimensions 
like seeing multidimensional beings, seeing or sensing spirits, heightened paranormal activity is going on around you. Maybe you're seeing orbs of light or twinkling stars, you know, in the corner of your eyes or, you know, on your hands or in the corner of the room. Maybe you're suddenly having insights and revelations that seem to, you know, come out of nowhere and come true. You may be experiencing something known as the Mandela Effect. Maybe you're having trouble with your electronics, technology, telecommunication devices, computer systems going like crazy and haywire. So if you're experiencing all this like crazy things that are going on, just know that there are some things that you can do to get through these periods of intense and heightened solar space activity. They're also helpful when you are experiencing any kind of energy effects. Here are some suggestions that I suggest to you. Take a salt bath. Those are the best. When your energy is feeling low or you feel off or when we're going through solar storms and geomagnetic storms, it's always best to take an Epsom salt bath or a salt bath. Never table salt, but Epsom salt or, or Himalayan salt, black salt. There's a whole bunch of salts that you can bathe in, but table salt is not one of them because table salt is toxic salt. Okay, so you don't want to take a table salt bath, but you want to take an Epsom salt bath um, and add some essential oils in it, whatever your favorite oils are, sage oil, lavender oil, whatever you like. Um, I like to do a cup of Epsom salt in, you know, the hottest water that you can lay in comfortably, okay? and lay there for at least 20 minutes. I like to put on, you know, my favorite kind of music and I just chill in my bathtub. Um, you can lay some candles. You know what, um, baking soda. You can put a couple shakes of baking soda in your bath and it will make your skin so soft and you'll be thanking me later. You'll have the skin of a baby's butt, I promise. Do anything that you feel that you enjoy doing when you feel stressed, when you feel stressed out or when you're very anxious. Some people like to run, some people like to exercise, some people like to yoga, meditate, go swimming. Um, so do whatever you feel comfortable doing that you normally do when you are feeling a little extra stressed, you know, or have a lot of anxiety going on. Um, Magnesium supplements. You would want to increase your magnesium supplements. I uh, take them every single day, and even when we're not going through these crazy storms, I take them. They help with so many things. Sleeping. I have fibromyalgia, so they help with muscle aches. If you have that um, sleepless leg syndrome, I forget what it's called. I think it's something like that. When restless leg syndrome, if you have that. Taking a magnesium supplement will help you with that. Uh, drink lots of water. As we expand with, the, with this light that's coming in, uh, it makes you really thirsty. Don't drink soda pops and sugary, juicy stuff like that. Drink good old water. Eat healthy. Eat more of a lighter um, source of food like soups or plant-based diet nothing heavy and greasy and salty and and sugary so you want to eat lighter and healthier um, avoid or reduce your intake of caffeine or alcohol and um, try using aromatherapy uh, if you have a little aromatherapy thingamajig forget what they're called but you know those things that you put the the oil in the diffuser, there you go, the thingamajig. So if you have that thingamajig, that oil diffuser, <laughs> you could put your favorite oils in there and, and put them in the bedroom when you sleep at night and or meditate doing aromatherapy. That will help you a lot. Uh, scents are amazing. Um, meditating is great. Meditate more or do stillness, relaxation, and breathing exercises. Uh, gentle exercise but don't overdo it. Gentle exercise, like a nice walk, a nice slow walk. Um, 
get out into nature. That's one of the best ones to get out into nature or walk barefoot or hug a tree, but get out into nature. Nature really, really, um, when you're stressed out and you're trying to cleanse your aura and you're just being a grumpy, moody ass, an irritable person, get out into nature. Nature will make you feel better. Take it easy on yourself. Go easy on yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself. If everything's going wrong right now for you, it's because of these storms that are happening or this tension that's going on or, or whatever's happening in your life. Just, just take it easy. Don't add extra stress on yourself by stressing. Just take it easy and breathe. Take that bath. Go out into nature. Um, have a positive attitude. If you're having a bad day, you know, the saying, turn lemons into lemonade, but that's what you want to do. You want to take a bad situation and turn it into a good situation. Find the humor in it and, you know, maybe try doing some affirmations. Write some affirmations down and repeat them over and over again or Google some affirmations on YouTube. There's a whole bunch of them for free. Uh, keep away from negative people and avoid drama. Just like... Keep it out of your life. You don't need that low vibrational negativity in your life. You know, as we keep jumping dimensions, we get closer and closer to the realm of light, the crystal realm of light. Our consciousness transforms first, and then our body does, our meat sack. It starts to catch up each, uh, each at intervals. So we don't do it, you know, too many. We don't do too many upgrades all at one time. You know, if we did we would be zombies, I swear. We would be sore and miserable and tired. We would just not feel good if we had all those upgrades all at once. So in intervals, you know, sometimes it's the consciousness that's getting upgraded. And then other times it's our body getting a, a DNA upgrade. You know, we are getting our light body. It is all a divine plan of creation. All right, guys. Um, so... I just want to leave you with this. Ascend with grace, okay? And I am sending all of you some calming energy and light to get you through this, you know, wave of energy. It'll be okay. Sending you healing energy if you're feeling pains and if you're experiencing the migraine, headaches and stuff. And um, just many blessings, love and light to all the beautiful souls that are listening and watching this video right now. Many blessings. Gabby.